Hey, it's Rasul Berry, and I'm here around the corner from the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa, reflecting on what can this historic place teach us about the nature of trusting in Jesus as a rescuer. In 1487, Bartholomew Diaz was a Portuguese explorer who was sent to find lands and wealth for his country. He ended up being the first European explorer to discover that there was a way around Africa to the Indian Ocean. And he called this place the Cape of Storms. That name would have other significance. You see, Diaz would later be shipwrecked and killed in this very same cape. They had this tendency, Diaz and those who sent him, to find wealth and to try to find power and might in their own strength. What started as a quest for glory and gold ushered in a period of imperialism and colonialism. You see, very often, we can end up in this scenario where we try to find life and rescue ourselves from poverty or rescue ourselves from need and lack. And that's exactly what happened with these explorers. Jesus says, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For what profited a man to gain the entire world and lose his soul? Jesus tells this very paradoxical lesson to say somehow in losing our lives for his sake, we will actually find it. For us, Jesus tells a different story, a better story. In fact, this cape was later named the Cape of Good Hope. And it reminds me of how Africa is even rising from its ashes and from its troubled past into a new reality, into a new future. What would it look like for us to, instead of depending on our sense of money or wealth or status, that we actually depended on Jesus to be the one that was the solution and rescuer that he truly is. This water is still choppy. This cape is still rough terrain and dangerous. And yet at the same time, it now is a beacon and a reminder of the fact that we have nothing to lose but the storms of our lives and nothing but a good hope to gain.